Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying Connie's Chicago's Finest since 1963. This is the sausage and uncured pepperoni pizza. It is a classic thin crust pizza. This was $6.49 at Meyer. This is how it looks. Uh, what you want to do is you want to preheat your oven to 425 degrees, and then you want to place this on the center rack. Uh, there's no cardboard, so you need to have a cutting board or something ready to go when you get it out, so you'll have a place to cut it. Uh, but you want to bake it for 16 to 18 minutes. Now, I will um, move this that around. Rearrange a bit. Rearrange, yeah, because it has really moved. We had a pizza not too long ago that um, where it was, like, perfect. Like, I've never seen the pepperoni so perfect. Uh, but this one has moved a little bit. So this is fine. That that looks really good. So we're going to cook it for the, bake it for the full 18 minutes because we like to get it dark. Uh, and then we'll be back. So this is what this one looks like after the full time. Uh, so honestly, I think it could have stayed in one more minute it because could, huh? this looks kind of wet in here. That's eh, not bad. Um, this has, if you watched the video we did yesterday, of the sausage pizza uh, you would have seen it did not go out to the edge like this one and does. This has a lot more sausage on it too. Yes it has a lot more sausage than the sausage pizza had on it so I don't know maybe we just uh, got unlucky with that uh, sausage pizza. Born in Chicago Connie's is more than just a frozen pizza. It's a legacy of tradition and quality. What started as a small storefront pizzeria on the south side of Chicago has turned into a nationally known pizza brand. Since 1963, we've been crafting the best possible pizza with an unrivaled passion. From Chicago to your table, Connie's always delivers. If you're looking for a restaurant quality frozen pizza, you found it with Connie's, our classic thin, Crust is dusted with cornmeal for a texture for texture and crunch. The signature sauce is made from a family recipe that's been passed down for generations. The premium high quality toppings are all natural, delivering the best ingredients in every slice. A final hint of herbs tops every pizza for a flavorful taste. Pro tip for true Chicago pizzeria experience, cut the pizza into squares. Connie's Frozen Pizza is the ultimate choice for pizzeria flavor at home. Um, so this is the sausage and uncured pepperoni pizza. It's Italian sausage and uncured pepperoni. It is a, a fifth of the pizza, 134 grams, is 310 calories. This was distributed out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin by Palermo. Palermo Pizza. Okay. Which makes for Mrs. Z. Let's see which. Let's see, I huh. think I'll take this one. I'm trying to look at which one's gonna have a lot of stuff at the, on the tip. So because I know I'm gonna get that first. Still very hot. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, I got sausage and pepperoni on. Mm-hmm. Tell you what, something spicy. I think it's the pepperoni. Is this the first one we've had with pepperoni? Mm-hmm. Their pepperoni is spicy. Which is good. I like this We had like. um, a cheese, mm -hmm. and then we had a special. Which had sausage, peppers, onions, and mushrooms. And then we had the, the sausage, sausage, and now this one. Yeah, yeah, that pepperoni has some. Has a little bite to it. Let's see. I'm gonna take a bite by itself. That's what I did. <laughs> oh, you just got the pepperoni. Yeah. Um, it was really nice. It's it's a very nice um, kind of spicy pepperoni. Kind of gives you that little burn in the back of your throat. I like that. What's the name of that place in the mall? The pizza place I like in the mall. The pizza place. <laughs> the pizza in the food Oh, court. Sbarro. Sbarro. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> say, it's not really a pizza place, but I guess it is kind of. Sbarro has, I think, the best pepperoni because it is spicy. Mm. It is spicier than this. This does have a little bit of a kick to it, mm -hmm. but it is not like Sparrow. I don't know who's making the Sparrow pepperoni, but it is good. It is good. 
I like this. This has got quite a bit of flavor on the, um, you really get the flavor of the pepperoni. You get the flavor of the sausage. Uh, the sauce is a really nice flavor. It's a little sweeter than some of the other pizzas we eat, but it's, it's still very, very good. And the crust is good and crunchy. Mm -hmm. The crust has a lot of flavor to it, actually. Um, last night, um, if you watched the video from yesterday of the, the sausage pizza, I put uh, salt and pepper on it, mm -hmm. and I I usually eat half a pizza. I always eat three pieces. I only ate two, and then I just threw the last piece away because it still didn't have enough flavor for me. It just it was a didn't. Little, it was a little plain. It was the sausage fine. was. I agree. The sausage Even, was very plain. Yeah, it didn't have a lot of sausage on it. It didn't have as much sausage like we said as this one, mm -hmm. and it was it, it was lacking, and it was lacking in flavor so much that. I just wasn't even interested mm -hmm. in eating the third piece. Yeah. I just wasn't, and that's not like me. I agree. The, the the sausage one that we got at least was was kind of plain. Mm -hmm. You can really, when you get that sausage, you get that those little seeds, those fennel seeds. You really mm -hmm. taste them. They're very strong. Mm -hmm. It's good. I like this one. Mm -hmm. right, so I like this one and the special. Those are the two I liked. This one, um, this is probably, out of the four we have, this one would be my favorite. Yeah, because you didn't like the mushrooms on the special one. No, I'd rather not have those mushrooms. Right, see, um, I liked them. So this would be my favorite. We only bought four. Uh, these are the only four that we intend to buy. So I'm sure, I know they have other ones with just like, um, or I, I think, I'm pretty sure we saw more with like just vegetables, like, mm -hmm. um, peppers and uh, you know without the meat and stuff like that um but we bought the ones that we were most interested in mm -hmm. um i always get asked and so i'm just gonna go ahead and answer uh would i buy this brand again no i wouldn't um it was six dollars 49 cents which is a good price which is a good price um but there are other pizzas i can get for that same price that are so much better mm -hmm that I would rather have one of those. Those home run in pizzas yeah. that we reviewed, if hopefully you watched those reviews, um, those were only about the same price. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they were, were bigger too. they were bigger pizzas. Yes, they were bigger pizzas and they had about ten times more flavor. Uh, you can even taste the cheese. That mm -hmm. was we were really impressed with how mm -hmm. much you could taste the cheese. Yeah, in there. this I haven't really. It hasn't stood out. No, no. This one. What makes this one good is the is only the pepperoni and somewhat the sausage. Yeah, this isn't one. The like, sauce is not even a one that I would compare to other ones that's liking because the sauce is a little sweet. The sauce is sweet, and so for me, this is a nice brand to try. I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed us making it, having something dip, you know, different for dinner every night, and being able to show you. But I always get asked, it's not to, that I want to dog the company or anything. I will get asked that in the comments anyway. Um, would it take the place of my favorites? No, it would not. No. It, absolutely not. I, I agree. Um, so for us, this will be the only time you'll see them. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Unless they come out with some, some special fancy flavor or something. Right. We might see it and go, oh, we could try that. It, yeah, it would have to be something pretty spectacular mm -hmm. for me to want to try it. Uh, because they've just been very ordinary. Yeah, just okay. Very ordinary pizzas. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.